So I'm doing a tag, and I found this on YouTube from Kim K. Um, the end of summer questions, because it's the end of summer. All right, um, number one, how would you rate your summer one to ten? I would rate my summer a seven. I would have rated it higher except for I lost my AC twice during the summer in Phoenix, Arizona, the hottest place on the planet. <laughs> Get my drift. Other than that, it was great. I got to go up north to Sholo very, very often. Got to hang out with my girlfriends. Um, really enjoyed watching all the summer videos on YouTube. Made a lot of good friends there. Um, spent a lot of good time with my son uh, and my husband and my girls, my dogs. And yeah, so I'd say seven, seven and a half for my summer. Yeah. Oh, I lost my questions. It's on my phone. Number two, favorite summer movie. Oh, there are so many good ones. Oh, I'm going to have to go just for performance sake with uh, the Planet of the Apes movie because Andy Serkis deserves an Oscar for his physical acting. I mean, come on, he does apes, gorillas, he was, he was, he was, uh, King Kong, he played Gollum. That needs to become a category for the Oscars, do you hear me? <sighs> Anywho, so yeah, I'm gonna rate that one. Number four, or three, coolest summer vacation ever, or just this summer? Um, the coolest one I had was going up to Sholo this summer because it was cool in August at 54 degrees, yay! I think it's like any time I went to Disneyland. Yes, Disneyland with my husband and my son was the coolest summer vacation ever. But for this summer, it was to get to, get out of the heat and to Sholo. And the trees. Uh, let's see, what's next? Number four, favorite summer memory. I have no memory. Um, my favorite summer memory. gosh, I just remember this summer as still being so hot, so <laughs> um, favorite summer memory was going to skip that question. If you have one, let me know. Um, number five, summer playlist. I listen to a lot of Mumford and Sons. I listen to a lot of Katy Perry. I listen to a lot of the Beatles. Um, I listen to a lot of NPR, National Public Radio. Yeah! Actually, I, I just enjoy National Public Radio. Um, <laughs> number six, did you have a summer fling? Yes, with myself. Not really. No, I'm just kidding. Um, summer fling? Yeah, I'm married. I have a husband. We fling all the time. Summer fling. I had a romance with YouTube this summer. Uh, my favorite summer nail polish, I don't have it on, I have this beautiful emerald green on, was a specific neon yellow color that I actually bought at Sally Hansen's. And it, I adored that color, and I still do, but I'm like, okay, I guess I need to hold off on this one for a while. But I really enjoy wearing neon nails during the summer. That was uber, uber fun. Famer, uh, bit, bit, number eight is um, summer accessory. My favorite summer accessory was a hair bun. Get it off my neck. I actually really enjoyed wearing um, hair buns this summer because I felt put together and cute and comfortable. So is that an accessory? Oh, and then putting things in my hair bun, like bows or flowers and stuff. So there you go. Uh, let's see. Did I accomplish anything from my summer bucket list? I accomplished... Nope. Because I wanted to really organize my house and it just got too hot for me to do that so I'm going to have to wait on that a little longer. But I, 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 uh, summer bucket list. I didn't read anything. I, I did nothing on my bucket list. I'm so bad. Number 10, favorite summer clothing item. My shorts. 
which you will never see. Oh, and my flip flops. I lived in flip flops. Number 11. What was the weather like where you lived? Hot. Um, I don't think we had any record breaking temperatures this year. I think we averaged 114 to 118 during the bakiness, bakiness of the summer. Um, and then when monsoons, which is our rainy season, whatever, it feels heavier because of the, the humidity, but we don't get a lot of rain. Um, so it was very hot. Hot. Again, I live in Phoenix, Arizona, and you could like Google it and find out how hot we get. The winter is hot. <laughs> um, number 12, what was my favorite lip color? Um, I wore a lot of orange this summer on my lips. I did. I loved wearing orange. Um, so I'm going to say it was my Revlon 24 Karat Moondrops lip lipstick. So, yeah. Um, my favorite summer shows. What did I watch during the summer? Oh, well, I always watch Days of Our Lives, but that's a constant because I can't help it. They're so pretty. The storylines are silly, but they're so pretty. Um, and I love the hair and makeup on that set. They do a great job. If you're looking for some inspiration for like everyday fashion that everyday people can wear, look at a soap opera. I'm serious. They got some skill. Um, and then I finished up True Blood. I hated the ending. Um, the second season of Orange is the New Black. Second season of Derek. Um, what else did I watch? I'm sure I'm missing something that was terribly important. Oh! RuPaul's Drag Race was awesome, but was that during the summer? I think it was. Was it? Was it? Uh-uh. Oh, no, but dancing, uh, So You Think You Could Dance and America's Got Talent. There you go. Um, number 14, my favorite summer drink. Ice water and a lot of it. I, I drink ice water constantly. In fact, I go to like a Circle K or a 7-Eleven and I get their cup, fill it up with ice and fill it up with water. And I pay for the soda as if it was a soda, but it's water because it's actually cheaper to buy it that way than in a bottle and it's still purified. And then if you take that cup back in to the store, you say, can I just get some water? And you get a refill. As often as you refill that cup, you can get it refilled. And so it's very economical and healthy and delicious and refreshing. But I, I love water, but it has to be iced. Uh, and my favorite beauty product of this summer, the La Roche-Posay a Thermal, I can't say it right, Thermal Spring Water for Sensitive Skin. Can you see? Is it too, is it too much? Is it too much? Um, I think this is just an amped up version of the uh, Evian water spray that came out in the early 90s where you just, oh, that feels so good. It has minerals and vitamins in it. Um, it just, it sits on your skin. It has a micro fine spray. It's cooling. As you can see, I'm illuminated again. And it kind of refreshes your makeup. But um, I know that Nikki, my friend Nick Nacaroni, um, wanted to know what it does and it just... It feels good. It soothes and cools. <laughs> so that's the end of this tag. Um, I will list down below in my little bar who I would like to tag to do this tag for the end of the summer. Um, and I look forward to seeing your answers. And if you do the tag and I haven't tagged you, just think you're tagged. Um, and um, let me know. Just hashtag me somewhere and say, I did the tag and I will so go watch you. Oh, yes. So anyway, thank you for stopping by. Oh, did you like this eye makeup look? I didn't do a tutorial on it. It's using Urban Decay singles that I have. Do you want a look? Do you want a tutorial? I do it for you. Cause it ain't easy being green, but it sure is fun. See you next time. Bye.